Hey people, this is Broken Buppet, and uh, this is part two of how to draw a tattoo style rose, old school style. This one's the more advanced one. Last time I showed you how to do this style, which is pretty much the same as this. Uh, these ones, really simple, they can be worked into any design, and that, but they are fairly simple. This one I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of techniques, how to create your own, like this style. And then how to do all different little bits. I'm going to show you how to do different centerpieces, how to do different leaves, how to do different petals, how to do, you know, the outside bits different. I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of different ways to do different bits. So you can create thousands, if not millions of your own styles, just by changing up certain little key features. And that, right. To start with, I'm going to show you a bunch of ways of doing this centerpiece. In that. I've got a few already drawn out for you. Let me show you here. Now, like I said, this is that centerpiece. See this swell? So if you imagine this well, going where this is. And that's what all these are, different bunch of ones. And now you got like this one, very simple. You know, I'll show you, when I draw it, I do this one. But if you imagine you start from the middle, you just swirl around, come off at the edge, and you just curl the lines down, going inwards a little bit. And the same for here, same for there. And I'll teach you about the colouring later on. But this is just to give some ideas of different colour ways you can do it. And that with a centerpiece, to me, it's always about trying to create like a, almost like a trademark for yourself. And that, simple way to do it, just do a whole bunch of random then little, little squiggles or little designs you like. It could be absolute anything, like, say here. You know, one of the ones, you know, I know the girls like I'd sort of do these ones for. A simple love heart. See? And then we work out, like we've done in the old video. Uh, if you haven't watched that one, it might be handy watching it first. But like the semicircles around it. And the side bits, this one, just another swirl, except this time it curls outwards, as with this one curves inwards. Another just swirl around, follow that round a bit wider. Here, very similar to the other style we've done. Here's another one which is similar to this style, but instead of sort of going in a circle, you here you just go up and you leave it curved, and you can colour that in. This one's a bit of a mad one, but it's just another idea to go crazy, how to create your own. You know, just swirl around, down. And, that, and these other little ones, just show you sort of different colour techniques, like you can use blue, green to create a mad green one, pink, black and white. But yeah, that's some ideas. If you want to see this, just click pause and you can see this in more detail. For this one, we're going to do the spiral. So start off, you know, around the centre of the page, wherever you want to. And that, just start from a line, go around, and around. You can go around as many times or as little times as you want. And then what we're going to do is going to make the little line bits. So where that line first there, finished here, just connect that down, connect down, connect down, connect down, connect down. All the points where the circle comes to a stop. And that, I'm going to put a little line like that, but we're not going to do too much because we're going to go on to the next bit. Right here. As we were last time, we went like that curved into it, this time we're not going to do that, we're going to curve up and just like a little flick and then we're going to connect this line up so that line connects up and what we're going to do is we're going to go around here I'm going to teach you a few little bits now if I can grab some paper to show you some different ones if I can find it in show you a couple of different ways of doing this this is actually a really handy technique if you're not too sure on what you want to do just get a bit of tracing paper over the top and just do some ideas on it over the tracing paper. Like here. To connect this bit around, this time, I'm going to go around. Like a semicircle. Then this time, as we're different to last time, we're going to curve it in like a suck it in an inward circle. Like a big, big chunk's been bitten out of it. Then I'm going to come up to a point. Curve back around. Connect up. I mean, that's one way of doing it. You know. Move that over to one side. Another way of doing it. You know. You could have it sort of jaggedy, floppity. Leaf like that, you know, just like quilt, you know, just curl the lines in and out. And that. Other little bits, like a really kind of typical old school way of doing it. You know, get the line going out. It's like a little rip inwards. Almost like a W or an M. 
you see it makes that little cut out and that's just another way of doing it you can bring this up and you can flop this over if we go like this follow this round and what we're going to do is we're going to go here set a little circuit bit on the outside it's almost like the leaf kind of turns over and that you could do a more advanced one of that or you're going to bring this around even further so if we go like that go boom big semicircle so there and around this outside bring that there and bring that one up that could be another way of doing it you know or if you just want to keep it you know fairly simple you know you just go up cut around to a point back around to there see and that's so if you don't know get a bit of tracing paper and do that but yeah for this one we're going to do it like this we're going to take the line from that point again outwards semicircle semicircle we're going to do one of those little cuts we said like that circle bit and we're going to go semicircle semicircle join up <coughs> oh, excuse me bloody cough right and this time we're going to go do the other side of it so we're going to connect our belt I'm going to say about a quarter of the way between this bit and this bit, so out here, or maybe a third. I'm going to go that way, and a little flick. So, pretty much the same thing, just, just under it though. And then, we're going to bring this line up here and reconnect that to that. So, it just finishes off that circle bit. Now, I'm going to bring this round, semicircle, semicircle, a little cut out. Go like that, do a little bit there, bigger cut out like that. And that probably looks a bit weird, but trust me, once it's sort of coloured in, mm. you'll see it looks pretty cool. And that, then we're going to bring this line down a bit, further than that was. And then this time we're going to do like a second one, so we're going to pretty much do almost identical, but we're going to do more of a flick with it. So if we bring this line curving around here, a bit further out to what this is, so it's a little bit over here. Curve that round, come like that, and flick out. Flick out further than this flick out was. And now, now at this point, what is that tracing paper on again? You could join this bit up by doing like another straight bit like this. Or you could curve it, so go like that. And that could close that bud. You could add that bit a bit further out if you wanted. And a lot of times this is a good way of just trying to measure up how you want to do it, how you want your line. And that, for this one, we're going to do it the other way. We're going to curve inwards. Generally, you can only really do this if you're doing a rose pretty big. Otherwise, it makes the rose look too small. So we curve like that. See? So curve the other way. And then again from that bottom line again, we're going to curve up. Semicircle. To a point. Circle bit out. Gonna go up. This time we're gonna go to like a flick little point. You see, bring that back, curve round, join up. And we're gonna do a similar thing on the other side. So again, join up line about here. So just a little bit further away from this line. So about there. We could join it up. Actually, yeah, we're gonna join it up. Actually, see, so we just mess it up, change it up. Like that. Flick outwards again, further than where that flick is. And that. Then we go around the line, semicircle, semicircle, cut out to a flick, come back around, and that. Then we join this line up like that. Now again, the, all these little flitty circle bits are the way you can customize these. You know, ending to a flick, doing semicircles, having these circular, having them pointed. You know, just by changing a few of these, you can make thousands of combinations. And that you know, think about. I mean, if we just change this head bit to three other faces, that's three different roses. You combine that with, like, say, a cutout bit, as opposed to not on three of them, that's nine different. And multiply is really quick and easy. And that's so you can customize your own ones so quick and easy. And that, right? And this bit, this is where you've got another few options. I'm going to show you a slightly different way to do it on last time. Last time when we done this one. With this type, you see when we got to this point, 
we curled it around and joined it back up and that that's one way of doing it now I'm going to show you a few more and that so where this line comes to an end is one of the ways if you get the line start from you know about this side you know just probably a l almost about the same length as where this bit ends so, so let's say around here and then I'm going to swirl up really wide and flick that way so it finishes about the same as this line is so from that line to roughly about that line then on the side bring this bit up curl it outwards so it joins up there and this side you could join up there and, and what that does this line here this leaves way open to make like the leaf kind of overlaps so if you imagine now we could kind of bring this bit around I'll start from this side so you can see because I've got my left hand kind of claws over it we bring that around to a point to a point and you see that makes a different way for the leaf to sit on and then when you got this you could bring this point around here give that a little bit more character or you do it like this it's another way start off around here bring this line up around to a point like that and kind of stop around there and what you want this line to go outwards around there you see and this makes like another kind of leaf shape that this kind of sits on and then you kind of do like mirror image but the next one kind of sits under this one so if you start just over here line up go like that bring that line up bring around bring this bottom bit up across flick up to there and again you can just do like a little bit of detail overlap I'll show you how to do these like little overlap details when we do the petals coming up but you could do that and you can follow those leaves all the way around as another way of doing it and now again there's a hundred different ways just play around with it you know it's the easiest way to do it and with tracing paper you can try as many times as you want before you actually put in the final one now, so for this one I'm gonna I'll stick to how we've done it on this design so actually no this was the same as I did it different well uh, do the first one I showed you so start a line out and go like that and bring this up line around then you can bring this one around there I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit further this time so we see there to there and uh, you can do these lines kind of jaggedy flickety uh, like another way you could have done this one would have been kind of actually I'll show you how to on this one see here where you start the leaf at the bottom and you curve up you go up higher down and around and then you do that but you do like a, just a bit further down with a longer curve connecting up to there and makes the leaf look like it's overlapping see like it's folding over right in a way then we get onto this uh, bottom bit here the leaf now this bit you can either go from the bottom connect it upwards or go from the top upwards and at this one what I'm going to do start from the bottom which I'll show you a few different ways of doing this start from my like around here curve like that like I've done before do a little flick then start from the bottom of that flick and curve it so it joins back up at the bottom and see that makes that like a leaf overturn and that you know you can be more harsh with it you can kind of do like a line like that then curve that around go down you can be thinner or you can go crazy and do like a really kind of fat one we go goes up and down you can do that either side either way around just play about it you could do it both sides if you want but for this we're just going to do it on one side and we're going to do this style just a bit thicker so let's go around this way a little flip like that come back around and join up now generally to be honest you want to kind of try and keep the petals the same around and I generally try to do about five petals and that's so uh, let's do about five and that, but for, my, for these two ones I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit so I can sort of show you the ones I like this one I'm going to do that over one I showed you on the other leaf so if we go around here you go in out 
around, join up. Then go from the bottom, get out a bit, in a little bit, not as much as you've done on that first curve, and join up. And that, and we do the same on this other side. So we go up, out, around, join up, join up. So that's two. And uh, another little detail bit if you want, you can have a little flick here. Little flick there, puts like a little fold in between the leaves. I'll show you some more detail lines in a bit, but that's just one way of doing that. And then starting from the top, now we're going to get our other two in. And at these ones, I'm going to go up, around, flick, to there. And then do the same the other side, up, around, flick. And I'm going to stop on there because it's kind of overlapping it. At this one, it's going to go on the inside, so dip to a point, go around. This one I've done a little bit closer, so this one I'm going to leave that little flick bit out and go on the outside. See? Bingo. And that. Yeah. So that's another way of doing that. And then. Oh yeah, I'll show you some of the uh, detail lines, which I quite like to do. And uh, generally I like to do these only really on the petals. And that, but just get your line, and just kind of follow the curve. So here, bend like that. Short one. Long one connecting up. Connecting. A line. Curve, connecting. So a little flick here. A line. Just puts a little more, a bit more detail into the petals. So that middle flick, middle flick. So I'm going curving, connecting, middle flick, curve, connect, curve, connect, little flick, little flick. It's just little detail bits, and you'll see when you sort of put it on later, you know, it just kind of adds an extra dimension to it. That's just like another way of customizing it. So I said, make it your own, do it your own way. Then we've got the outside. Like the leaves, the little vine bits, and that. A few different leaves you can do. See, like here. So, if you imagine this is where, like, you know, the uh, petal ends. Here, you just get like a line going thicker, or going to one side, then widening up just a little bit. The other side, and do the same both that way curve and curve. And then just line, 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 line. And then when you're doing the shading, like, you know, do the shading a bit uneven. Like, seeing this bit, you go darker, and then next one, go a bit lighter. Darker, sort of lighter, darker. Mess it up, and that just kind of gives it a bit of a more dimension to it. This one, same bit for the middle, where the line bits go, but on the edge, go jaggedy. So go there, out, there, out, there, out, there, out, there, out, and do the same on the other side. And then just flicks. Generally, for this style, I like the flicks to be in the same place. So if you imagine where this one finishes here, you want another one on that side in the same place. And that then just colour green with a bit of dark shading at the bottom. This one, which is one of the ones I more like, because it's a bit more adventurous and it looks a bit more fancy. I think I've done a similar one in the uh, other one, but this one's a bit more 3D. And that, so yeah, so you get a line, you curve outwards, and a little flick on the ends. And this side, you want like a pretty even curve, you know, no curve to the other side. And that, and then the same way you've done in here, like a little sort of triangle, a little line in the middle. Curve that line so it follows the same curve as this, you know, a bit higher than this side, because this would be the uh, thicker part, because this bit gets hidden in the 3D part of the leaf where it goes under. So curve that to a point. Two little lines there like we've done in the uh, previous rows. Cut it in. And here is the same uh, lines we've done on the rows. You know like I showed you here. The detail lines. And that's so you see. Just line, line, little line, big line. Just randomize it. And then you colour it in. And just leave like a big sort of white sort of, you know, uh, sort of long circular shape, you know, there. A long sort of curved bit there and just don't colour that and just leave that bit white green and then dark shade around this edge and on this little line bit going around here and that will give it a 3d effect this one's much more of a pattern style you know these are the kind of ones where you can just really just kind of go crazy and do what you want so like here I just left like a little thin gap and copied the line and done a bit in orange like a little sort of line bit and stopped in the middle then just like fancy lines on the outside and like two spikes on the outside now you can mess up, you can put little circles in here, you can have wiggly lines, anything you want. You know, these kind of pattern ones just go crazy with. You know, just do a couple of mad ones on a bit of paper before you put in the actual finished piece. You know, because trust me, these ones can look amazing.
but I'm going to do this style for this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a different style. So for this one, I'm going to go out really quite wide to point. And I'm going to go out again really quite wide to point. And that, then I'm going to put a line curving to the dead center. And again here, 